Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last week of uh, um, November. The week begins from the 27th until the um, 3rd of December. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the Energy Vibration of your week and you have the supporting energies of the fire energies and this is good the number one energies are here and this is good because what is happening is that a lot of you whatever the situation is um is going to um balance is coming in your life so um number one energies are very prominent you have the five of swords in reverse and this is good um Five of Swords in reverse is not saying that you have lost the battle. Five of Swords is saying that the battle has ceased, it ceased to be. Okay, so um, whatever situation that you have been going through, whatever conflicts you have been going through with other people, it has now come to an end. There is a win win situation that mean that there is going to be a balancing that is coming up. So, this is going to be the focus of your week because whatever that was um, in array, whatever that was not, um, the conflicts, whatever conflicts, whatever that was happening, it has now ceased to be. That means it has ended with a win win situation. Sometimes we don't really like the win win situations, but it's better for a battle to end with a win win situations. Okay? So we are going to go forward and we are going to look because the first day of the week you have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is someone who is an Aquarius, a Libra or a Gemini that is coming to coming at you with harsh words. Then you have the Nine of Swords on Tuesday. So Monday and Tuesday is not going to be one of the most viable for you um, Virgos. Middle of the week you have the energy of the Magician. So you are going to find um, a way to deal with this sort of a situation because there's a win-win situation but yet still someone who is an Aquarius, a Gemini or a um, Libra is not really happy with the ending of this situation so they're going to come at you with harsh things. On Thursday you have the Knave of Cups, this is a good person. This is um, a Pisces or a Cancer or a Scorpio that is coming to support you on Thursday. On Friday, you have a victory. So now I realize what is the win-win of this week is that you have a victory. You use the sword of truth and you have a victory. On Saturday, the Ten of Swords is in reverse. So whoever, whatever the situation was that people were stabbing you in the back, on Saturday it is come to an end um, the six of cups is also in reverse so um, whatever the situation is was a karmatic situation and there is nothing happy ending because uh, the five of swords shows you um, which is in reverse the six of cups is also in reverse let's see what the conniver you have a strong foundation against this person there's an ending the nine of swords there is an ending the number four comes up so you're working with one and four and six one four and six we move forward to see what the knight he is bringing up with three of one so he's helping you to leave a situation and start something good the three of wands is always celebration the three of wands is always a success and a victory of something that has happened and chance and 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 transpired you have the ace of sword and this is a situation that you had to deal with the king of cups and you um have victoriously overcome this king of cups then with the ten of swords and such day you have the nine of swords the nine of swords comes up again and this comes up in the upright they're bored in the upright and this the karmatic situation that you have is with someone 
who is an Aquarius okay whatever is happening you are going to be glorious and victorious so the end of whatever this conflict was okay the end of whatever conflicts was what was a win-win situation you are going to be receiving the glory um, your uh, good, good things are coming to you because um, whatever that at play you 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 uh, there was an injustice a situation that had, had, had occur in your life and there is an ending to it but this ending you stand up with the sword of truth and you bring this to an ending and you are going to be glorious in this week okay it doesn't have to affect each and every person if there's not a situation like that that is happening in your life it's happening in different ways let's look at your cards and see what is happening isn't that beautiful this is wonderful whatever the situation um the nine of swords is always worries there's a lot of words the nine of swords if you don't the ending you have come to the end of a journey and you are you know worrying about this nine is always spiritual spirituality what this is saying is that your angels and guides are saying you need not to worry okay because this is what you're bringing up so let's go back and look at uh, um, your numbers remember you have the number four and the number six you have the number nine so you have number four number six number nine number one one four six and nine okay let's go forward in your reading to see what is happening okay on Monday and remember you're an earth sign this is your week so it's a lot of karmatic situation that is being ending in this week and this is good there are some of you who have a situation with uh, someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra this could be a man or a woman they are coming at you with a harsh words and that sort of a situation but you have a strong foundation against them because you have the energy of the four of Pentacles so whatever it is you have a strong foundation against this person you're going to stand up and you're going to make sure that you let this person know whoever you are you know I'm not being ruffled about the words or whatever you're saying because I know where I stand okay on Tuesday you have the energy of um, moving away from a situation and there is a little worries because whatever changes comes up we're always thinking about uh, um, what is it that I'm moving towards I'm leaving something behind but yet still I would like to know what is it that I'm moving towards what is in the cards what is in the future for myself and this I can ask a question um, to see what is it that you're moving towards but um, as worried about because obviously you are worried about the changes that is about to happen and there is going to be a lot of conversation that is going to be happening okay um, a lot of conversation and this is conversation with people or conversation with yourself to see because worries is actually conversation with yourself you need to change this pattern of this worries. there's there's going to be a lot of talking a lot of conversation mm -hmm. but whatever is happening you're thinking and change the pattern to look I'm going on a new journey I need to know what is the right thing to do because um, there will be a lot of people coming at you because obviously this um, this person here and this is you know like because um, it's the conniver the conniver is like people who are listening um, to your conversation and espionage and, but you have a strong foundation against them because whatever you're doing you're doing it in a positive way and um, it's not hurting anyone and you're not doing anything against anyone but people are coming at you in different ways and there's a lot of conversation that is happening here but let me ask you another question because you know this is you know what is you know what is happening with this new passage okay what is happening is that this all this 
conversation, whatever is happening here is going to come to an end. Okay, whatever, um, it's, it's like people are talking about you, it's like people are coming at you, it's going to come to an end, which is good. This, this is good. And you're going on a new journey. So it's coming to an end and you're going on a new journey because the Six of Cups is. Uh, so you're thinking about making a decision to go on a new journey. So um, this is good. As we get to the middle of the week, you have the energy of the Magician helping you with the Four of Cups. This is going to be... Um, no regrets this is going to be actually a celebration this is going to be a free you're freeing yourself of things that has been holding you down in the shackles so you're freeing yourself this is the new start this is the energy of the magician coming in to teach you how to free yourself and you guys have a lot of questions because um, with the energy of the magician and the four of cups this is freeing yourself as you look at this woman she's naked and she's dancing and this is freedom because you know even some people have it that you like to walk around naked in your house or walk around naked sometimes and this is because you want to free yourself of all the burdens that you're carrying and this is good so let's see what is happening here I and this is good this is good this is good you're going to be realizing that with leaving this negative things behind that you're going to meet new people in your life and these people are going to help you to manifest a lot of money in your life this is good because it is new friends are coming in and these friends are going to help you to manifest a lot of money in your life okay and this is good because and first this and, and then that you know this is good because you're reading as a lot of questions I haven't had so many questions for a lot and your luck is going to come in after you leave whatever the situation is behind and look forward as we move forward on done Thursday we have the energy of the Kniver again this is another um, messenger coming in and this messenger that is coming and is bringing a message because you have the three of wands so um as you look at this this is an earth sign it can be about work this is good because for some people if this is about work this means a new um something um someone is going to offer you something take it um if it's about work somebody is going to offer you something take it whatever you take this is going to be good it's all about work it's a message about work that's coming in for some people there's an offer that is coming up take it because as you take this offer it's going to lead to a place where it's going to bring you a lot of luck so whatever this offer is that is coming up for you guys take it because it's going to this offer is going to lead you to connect with people and by connecting with people it's going to bring you to a positive place so love this love this Friday it's going to be a good day for you guys because you are victoriously you have used your truth the sword of truth you have said what you have to say and um, on Friday you know you are going to be victorious whatever the situation this is a situation that you're using the sort of truth with someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion it's not in a bad way it's just that you're telling this person exactly how you feel okay so let's look and see who is the Pisces or um, who is the Pisces or scorpion or cancer person um, who you use the sword of truth who's this person what does this person there was a conflict and you use the sword of truth to tell this person how you truly feel over a situation okay let me just pull it up there and um, what was this conflict all about why you told the person the truth um this complex was about um the blockages that is you know has been in your life and so it, you know it could be for some of you it could be a situation where you are with this person 
you Virgos where you're with this person who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion and there is conflicts between you and this person and you know it's as if this person is blocking you from something it's as if the um, whatever you're having whatever the relationship between you and this person it could be your boss who doesn't want to give you those promotion because he doesn't think that you are good for this position or that sort of a thing but this, uh, this, this, the sort of truth is you being victorious by speaking your mind, and whatever the conflict was, and whatever that was there is this if whatever that is happening, this person is trying to block you, and you're telling them your mind and telling you, look, this is how it is, this is how I feel about the situation, and this is what is going to happen on Friday. You are going to have a victorious ending over whatever that situation was. Okay this i need to ask a question i don't really need to ask a question but i think i'll ask it for the new viewers um the ten of swords is in reverse which is good but the ten of swords is in reverse so whoever that was stabbing you in the back or whoever whatever because here is the glory because whatever the situation that was taking place in your life you come out on top it's a it's, it's a win-win situation but yet still you come out on top you are glorious over whatever happened but still you're worried you're worried because maybe you think that these people are going to come at you do not sorry worry about that let's see what is happening with this cruelty and the ten of swords is in reverse so that means whatever that was transpiring you have you know the energy of the night because there's a lot of words it's your thoughts the thoughts is going so let's see what is happening with this ten of swords and this cruelty that has happened yeah um this can happen to some people with their work okay there was something that was unjust that happened at your workplace it was a cruel form people stabbed you in the back people lied and now the truth came out and you're still worried because whatever the information that comes out um, you know you're worried about how people are going to deal with the situation let's look and see what else uh, ooh. okay ooh. yeah I'm listening here get ready anyway this is coming to an end so there was lies and injustice and uh, um, the snake is uh, um, people who are jealous and hatred and lying and it was a situation that played at your workplace okay and they stabbed you in the back you have no need to worry about this thing because what is happening because obviously there was something that happened at your workplace and people lied it's coming to an end okay so it's as if all right let's say for people who found out about something that was um not dealt with in the right form let's say um you found out that a company or a, a people in a company did something and you haven't said anything about it you walk away you turn your back on it and yet still people still coming at you because they know that you know what happened and people and this is it because they're giving themselves away you have not said anything about the situation that is happening but because of hatred and jealousy and whenever people know that they are doing you know you know not doing the right thing and, and and things comes out it could comes out in another way but you have nothing to deal with how this information came out and people stab you in the back they lie it was about your work it was heart hatred and jealousy and this is what is happening on saturday doesn't really matter let it go on sunday you have a situation to deal with someone in your life and this person who this situation that is happening has to do with um, lies hatred and jealousy and what is happening here is that the energy of this is a karmatic situation and it has to do with the queen of sword it has to do with the queen of sword who is the queen of sword this could be an aquarius uh, a gemini or a libra okay let's see what happened 
what is the situation that took place because this person is ooh, they're coming to gut you okay and let's see who is this person what happened and why what is this that is played out? it has to do with work it has to do with work work and your house it has to do with work on your house there is you know this woman is jealous it's as if this person could also be with um your son or daughter but it's the queen of swords so it could also be the king of swords this is someone who's a liar this is someone who is uh, really imbalanced so be aware of this because uh, a secret is going to come out about this person a secret is going to come out about this person and um a secret is going to come out about this person because whoever is this queen whoever and it's a karmatic situation like this that is playing out and is happening in the weekend is a karmatic situation this is in the end of it whatever came out um it's as if you are going to find out that this person who is um who is an aquarius a gemini or a Libran, something is going to come out because here and this person because this th this can affect the people who are working this can affect the people who are in your house um, this could be a mother secret coming out this could be someone who is married to one of your kids that her secret is coming out and it is a karmatic situation because this person came back in this lifetime and this information that is going to come out is going to be the end of a karmatic situation so the cross it is the cross in for spelling from um, karmatic situation so here you go ladies and gentlemen whatever the situation is so you know this is a good you know this is a week for you talk you uh, Virgos because this is actually your week so as you realize the end of the year is coming down and a lot of things are coming out whatever the karmatic situation that is coming out whatever that was spoken there was a lot of people speaking about you and um, behind your back and that sort of a thing and as you see here on Saturday um, the you know the lies that everything came out and the nine of swords you're worried and it's something about your work but you have no need to worry okay because it was just lies that was told lies that was told and whoever did that it is a karmatic situation that you have with the queen of sword the queen of sword is you know uh, the the librans or uh, you know these swords people always think that they can balance out things and day but whatever is happening remember that you use on friday you use um the sword of truth to say something and here you're seeing the atrius and gel bad-minded and everything is coming out on saturday in the weekend so your weekend is going to be a weekend where you're going to think oh my god it's like everything all secrets that was um kept and things that you weren't aware of is coming out and you this victorious win you're going to be glory in whatever the situation that is taking place oh my god i've gone over 20 minutes but yeah this was a lot ladies and gentlemen i had to really ask all these questions it is your week it is the week of the um, temperance it's a week of balance you virgos it's gone out over 20 minutes <laughs> So, um, all right, please like, share these videos. And I want to say to you, Virgos, I'm so grateful for what you're doing for me. Thank you so very much. Please leave a message about this new way of reading. If you like it, thumbs up. Um, send me a message to let me know how you feel about because you're seeing so many information that is coming out. So I want to say I love you dearly from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Please remember, like, share, so go back and listen to the monthly reading for the month of December, what is coming up. And I want to say namaste until next time.